friends and neighbors. I'm walking down Dogwood uh, now. I'm in front of the pantry. Uh, this used to be Stewart North Avenue right there, the old uh, quick pick behind me. Anyway, I've noticed since the last video I made that uh, they're very quickly clearing out the area that I showed you in the last video with 33, 35 is it? So I figured we'd walk over here. The sun is like right where I need to point the camera, but let's check this out. So that's looking north. Pretty much the only little house left on this stretch is right there. That used to be, I think you said Jenny's restaurant. And then, sorry about the sun being right there, but we're scooping up the remains of that house. And uh, you'll see up here, they've cut out all the trees that were there. So this is changing very quickly and it's fascinating how much land there is. It didn't look like it with the old structures on it. But maybe when I point the camera in the other direction, you'll be able to see this was 3309 that they're scooping up now. Right there, you can see. Thirty-three oh nine being scooped up, and since I filmed last, remember the, the mansion was sitting here at thirty-three twenty-seven, gone. Look at that, and then you can see the trees in the back, the trees up in the front, and there is where's the sign? There's the sign when it was a roofing company in that house at 3327. Um, there, once they get started, boy, there's, there's no stopping them, is there? So here's the driveway that used to go up into 3327. See, we're right across from what used to be the band box. And he's scooping up what's left of 3335. this left at this point, and this will be gone soon, is the little bush growing up around it, the sign that used to say the company name there. They used to make um, kitchenware at 3335. I'm glad I went up in there a few videos ago. I went up into the space and uh, just checked out what I could. I wish I could lift all the way up, but that whole stretch now, and then going all the way back is, I can't remember if it's going to be apartments or townhomes. It's gonna to be one or, one or the other, because that's pretty much the only thing that um, is being developed in Hateville right now. So that's my take on that. It will be good news for this place. This was for the last six years or so, this was Archer's Brewing. But it closed about six months ago and now a brewery out of Columbus, Georgia is in here now. Chattabruchi they're called. They're renaming this The Hangar and they'll be opening sometime soon. So they'll have all of these new residences next to them that can patronize their brewery. So I'm sure that'll be a very happy ha happenstance for them. Oh, speak, speaking of.
but change is gonna happen. 3344 is still here. I can say what I think, but I also understand the reality that unless you have a strong-willed group of residents who would like to see something other than this happen, going to city hall meetings and speaking up, or uh, city council meetings and speaking up, you really don't have a right to give your opinion beyond that. So that's all mine is, is an opinion. So instead, I choose to document it so that future uh, residents of Hapeville can look back at this collection of videos and see what it was like when I was here and the changes that have happened while I was here. That's my contribution, but they're all gone. It'll be interesting to see what they look like. I imagine they're gonna look very similar to the four, five, or six other developments happening in Hapeville right now, particularly on the south side. Hoke Bradley, a graduate from Hapeville High School, once had his service station here. I think back in the 50s and 60s. That's it for today, my friends. That's what's happening in Hapeville on this November day. Create yourselves a great day.